rare moment caught on film. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, it's hard to follow them around, but they have been playing. Um, they're making a mess of things. <laughs> anyway, they have been playing, and uh, they're getting along well. That was a rare moment, because Baby Cat growls at the Black Cat, who, by the way, I'm calling Squeak. Squeaky Cat. There's Squeaky Cat. Hey, Squeak! Psst. Squeaky Cat. Uh, she's distracted by the Baby Cat. Oh, there's Jealous Baby. <laughs> See, Baby is jealous of any attention that I give to the Black Cat. And growls at the black cat every time I uh, talk to it or pay any attention to it. So it's been hiding most of the time. But they are friends. Oop. Well, anyway, it's hard to. It's also hard to keep them in view because they run so fast. Anyway, they are friends and they're doing well. And uh, they're playing. And baby cat was washing the black cat the other day. So. They're good friends. It's just that Baby Cat is still jealous. She's still queen of the house. She does not want the other cat to spend time with me, or she will growl, and so the other cat is sort of scared of me. But, um, well, because it associates growling with me, sadly. But it's getting better. She comes to me a little bit more and more. Especially in the mornings, uh, she comes up and wants to purr and be loved. So, and Baby Cat's backing off a little bit. Uh, Baby Cat is still the queen of the house, and she knows it. Well, they're playing anyway, so they're getting along. So I figured I'd give you that update. Uh, it's cold. Cold, cold today. Windy. It's really not nice. I feel the wind blowing through the doorway under, under my feet. Uh, where it's not sealed tightly yet. And, um... I, it won't be a good maple sap day today. And the buckets are frozen solid. And it's probably not going to get above freezing today, although the sun is out. So it's going to be pretty decent solar once the sun clears that uh, the trees. So it's going to be a good solar day. I've got to get that wind turbine up, which I'm going to have to have help for because it's too heavy for me. And uh, I'll be pulling in some nice power again. Here's some rare footage. The baby cat watching me from the window. <laughs> Something was up with the chickens, so I had to go check them out. Must have been a hawk after them. And they were in an uproar. It took me a while to calm them down. The baby cat wanted to see what I was up to. Yeah, she loves me. I'm a baby. I have cleaned out the space underneath my kitchen cabinet and I plan on building a shelf down here because my food and junk is scattered all over the house now and I'm tired of it. I only had this, this lower section to work with and Obviously you can only stack your food so high and the rest was wasted space and I've always wanted to do this and now that I have the my, my wood cleared away and I can get to it I can build down under here finally and uh, start building on the tiny house on wheels again something I've been putting off and putting off because everything was under snow and ice I have got that new set of pallet wood which I'll be using here in building my kitchen cabinets. Again, I mentioned uh, the other day that I have I have tools and equipment and gear everywhere. It is a mess. This is a construction zone and it's becoming uh, so bad it's to the point where well I've got food mixed with tools and everything is combined and everything's jumbled up together. I just can't work in here. I can't get anything done let alone use the place. So your priorities might not be the same as mine. My priorities are to get stuff off the floor, get stuff put away properly, so I can move in here and get on to bigger and better projects. So, and then part of the reason I don't show you anything on video of the tiny house is I'm ashamed of it. There's just stuff everywhere. So I'm going to build these cabinets and get things off the floor, get things put away in here. I, um, I think I'll just go with 24 inches. That's a 
even perfect size off of there. So, yeah, my cabinets are just tossed together at, on the fly. There's nothing, um, nothing like uh, custom or pre-made or anything here. I am not a cabinet expert, so we got two, 22 and a quarter. I am definitely, definitely not a cabinetry expert. I'm just going to make this up on the fly as I go. And I'm just going to put a shelf halfway up right here uh, uh, on this and just bolt it in on, uh, on the four supporting points. And then I can put my cabinet door in there later. So this will hold one cabinet door. I'll have a piece of trim and then I'll have another cabinet door over the sink. And, uh, and I'll just figure it out as I go along here working this... Uh, well, working this this kitchen out so as long as it looks good and it functions well that's what matters to me I just need a functional tiny house and, and whether this board doesn't line up with that board underneath in the framing or this board and this board I don't care this is gonna be it hidden so the framing just has to function that's all that's gonna matter in the end for me What's really important is the exterior. Once I get, once I build the doors, these are going to have to be, for me, these have to look really good. The trim work here, closing off these edges, that's going to have to look really good. That's important to me. Framing, I really don't care. Uh, it's Nobody's ever going to see it again once this is done. Somebody reaches in to grab a plate or a, a bag of noodles, they're not really going to say, oh, wait a minute, that board doesn't really line up with that board down there perfectly. So again, I'm not a cabinet maker, I'm just doing this on the fly. Uh, just hope you enjoy watching my day-to-day -day videos and my struggle on the path to self-sufficiency and warmth in winter. That I have accomplished. So, I'm already happy. Well, I'm going to go out and get some wood ready. So I'm out in the workshop tent. For the first time in history, using my workshop, the outdoor tent workshop. Because for one, it's actually warmer than being outdoors. Because it's at least got a windbreak. And another, it's warmer because the sun's shining on it. Sort of heats it up for me a bit. And when I'm done for the day, I don't have to pick up my tools and put them away in case it rains. They're already put away. Okay, so what I've got here is a framing for a cabinet. Put the cleaner stuff facing out. Although, again, nobody's really going to see it much. I should at least have some attempt at making it cleaner in appearance. At least for me. The problem is this table is uneven. I need a flat work surface. This table is not at all even for trying to make to screw this together. Through the years it's become really warped. Or a year? It's been a year I guess? I don't know. Interesting trying to do this on a wobbly, uneven surface. So, what I'm going to do is screw these together. Hopefully, the framing won't be in the way of my screwing it into the framing underneath there.
other thing is I don't have to worry about making a mess out here. That's convenient. Okay. And I left my power driver in the house. I'll be back. pretty simple frame and then I'm just going to pop on a very simple uh, piece of plywood and I've got a shelf. Pretty quick project. Uh, I'm not going to be a lot of projects going on today really because I'm working on the websites a lot still. I'm trying to finish the transfer. So that takes a lot of time. I'll be happy when that job is done. <clears throat> no writing, not not nice. Sloppy mark, where are you? I'm actually left-handed, so that was dumb and awkward. seen anyway. I think it'll be pretty strong. Canned foods and whatever. What's gonna hold. take it in and try it out for size. Well, oh, there's a baby cat making her appearance. This is the dirty side down. So I should put dirty side up, huh? Get down. This is what people will see. Where's the front? That's clean. See if it fits. See if I did my, my math right. And yes, it's going to fit. And yes, I knew it was going to stick over that edge a little and come past here. Perfect. Good. I can screw it there, 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 and here. Good. Everything's going to line up nice. Good. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I'll go cut my top piece and then we'll come in and screw things together. So we'll be back in a few minutes here. Okay, I cut the piece of OSB and it fits perfect. I uh, said plywood earlier, but I realized I don't have any plywood anymore. Not clean stuff. 
So I've got a piece of OSB. This was left over from my bathroom work. And uh, it fits perfect. Now I've got to measure this, mark it off, and come back with a camera when I start mounting it. Okay. Now. I want to try to go to the easiest point first. when they're outside the whole winter. Oh well. There, get me two of them in there at least. These are the long ones. So the top shelves aren't actually going to hold anything but dried foods. So I won't have as much force on them. Otherwise, I know somebody's going to tell me screws don't have shear strength. But they certainly have the ease of insertion as compared to a nail. And that's why I'm using screws right now. Just for simplicity. Don't worry, that one board I just moved isn't fastened. I had some troubles doing those the other day. Oh, are you straight? No. Oh, no, it's in there. Yeah, an extra hand would always be good. Okay. Oh, I gotta get it in the corner. Ah, there you go. Piece. Well, it's dirty already. Well, quite impressive. I never fastened down here. I don't know if you're going to see what I'm doing. I'm just putting a screw in to this frame. Piece I never did screw in. Now it's in. Now, I think I can go from the outside in easy enough. Can you see what I'm doing? My hand, yes. <laughs> now you can't, right? That was me, not the cat. How dumb is that? Where's my mark? There it is. Right there. one in the corner to do. Make sure it's the right height. Right there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to finish that last one and we'll come back and put in the shelf. Okay, put in the shelf. And there it is. Now, of course, I've got to screw it down, but there we have 
the first shelf in the kitchen cabinets in the tiny house on wheels. Well, getting it, getting it done. Then I can put, uh, sorry I've been hiding this from you. <laughs> put all of this up in here and get it off the floor. Well, there it is. The first shelf in the kitchen in the tiny house on wheels. Uh, getting food put away. Now I'm working underneath the, the sink. What I'm going to have to do now, and I think I'll have to call it a day then because it's probably a 5.30 already. I'm going to have to make an L shape here. So it's going to be an interesting setup. I'm going to make it removable. So either I'm going to make a, I think I might just make one piece. It's going to have legs and it's going to be self-supported and slide in up to the sink. And then the space behind it will be wasted, but at least I'll have that and it'll be removable so I can pull this entire thing out for work on plumbing. But yet I'll still have the shelf here in the middle. So I'll be able to use that space somewhat here under the kitchen sink area. It'll, it'll be a definite gain in storage space right here. So that's going to have to be, like I said, self-supporting um, slide in, slide out shelf. I can't tell if I can see here if that's recording or not. It's a problem with the, uh, the light out here when you're working on the camera. I can't see the camera. Cutting all the frame pieces for that slip in shelf. Slip-in shelf. Should sure piece it together first. Get a knife for it. Alright, that's the top. It's actually going to be strong because there's not a lot of space that isn't supported. So that'll be alright. I don't think it's going to sag either with 29 inch span. I was wondering if I might need a, a leg in the middle. I might consider that anyway later. I could always add it in. This is removable. It's a, it's, it's a removable show, so it's not like it's going to be impossible to add that in if I feel the need. Now I'm going to put these in and... Well, I don't know how my... Let's see, I want to put them in. If I go in through here, then I'm going to have trouble getting the leg in. Go at an angle. I want the legs and the ends. See, here's where my weakness comes into place with cabinet making. I want to put a screw in through here to hold this in place, but then I have to put the leg on as well. So it means yet another screw crossing through the wood going down. creates a weak spot in the uh, in the wood. It's 29 divided by 2. 14 and a half. Pre-drill, which is a clean face. There isn't a clean face. Blech.
I notice you cabinet makers are probably screaming at the monitor right now, like, not that way. Don't do it like that, no. And of course, there's nothing you can do because I won't hear you until after it's too late. is the way it is but I'll get it somehow and it'll hold usually does at least the house is withheld uh, withstood a lot of weather a lot of beating so far this winter so I must be doing something all right maybe not perfect maybe not proper but it works it's working Again, I'm not trying to teach you how to make cabinets. I'm just showing you me doing my daily life. I hope you enjoy the ride. This, will be, this part will be hidden by the shelf. Can't tell if my camera's on or off half the time. Now we got the legs. Problem is the legs are not going to be very strong unless I put supports on them. I wonder if I want to put 29 inch cross braces or no I'll put cross braces this way. Let me see. Interesting. Let me think here. If I put cross braces this way on these legs, basically what I'll end up having is a frame that will add stability. Otherwise, these are going to be wobbly on the bottom. They're just going to wobble and look really stupid and ugly. So what I think I'm going to do is put a cross piece down on the bottom of each leg and a brace across the bottom and the back, and it'll stop the wobbliness. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to cut some more boards. Again, I'm sorry if I'm freaking some people out because I know this isn't perfect work, but hey, it's going to do the job. Well, I need another 2x2. Two two. All right, I'm going to go out and search for a 2x2. Two two. I've been building along without the camera. I get going and I just, just don't think. I hope I don't forget what I was doing here and mess up. Now what I've done, this is the back side of the bottom of the base. What I've done is I, I put these together, I put this piece together. There's show you like I put these three pieces together, and then I put the two uh, side posts together, and what I did is I drilled it at angle so it goes over the top of that screw and into here. And it seems to be alright, so I'm gonna do the same here. And this will just stop the wobble, basically. It's going to stop the thing from wobbling, give some stability. Here, any 
messed up squareness is going to show. The wood is warped in a bad way. So I'm just going to start with one piece and work from from there. Um, this way. Go at an angle, passing the screw. I'm going to have to get more screws. Construction is back on. Do this one next. I do like this tent. I hope it doesn't get wrecked by the winds. It's very convenient. Uh-oh, gotta go, something's attacking the birds. The hawks have been out in force recently, attacking my chickens. So, I've been out in force defending them. It's probably overkill. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me it's overkill, but hey. Now they have it too strong and too weak. All this stuff was out, out in the winter, outside all winter, so it's bad shape. Squareness is off. perfect but it'll hold. It's really warped. <sighs> Second rate wood, that's what you're gonna have. Okay now the last piece of the puzzle. Okay, there's that. Now, got to find some particle board that'll fit that. I'm going to take it inside and fit it. I'll be back. I'm not going to show you on camera because I'm pretty sure it's going to slide in. I don't feel like taking the camera in, setting it up, putting it down, whatever. And we'll come back out and we'll cut the top piece for that and we'll be done. Well, here we go. The final piece of the puzzle. I'm going to slip in place here. Now this one will have to screw and glue. I did not screw or glue the other one. It doesn't matter. It has no stress on it. This one I will later screw and glue. And glue. Screw and glue it, yes. I'm going to screw and glue it. There it is. Shelving. And that, of course, is removable. Um, Actually, I just realized that is not removable. I goofed. I gotta shorten it. Uh, to make that removable, I have to come out past this piece of framework, which I could take out. That framework is not a problem. If I slip that out, then it'll be removable. That's just excess. That'll work. Anyway, I'm done for the day. It's going to get dark out there soon. Yeah, I'll just move the framing. That'd be the easy way to go. And then that is a removable shelf. Done. So, not bad for a day of work. Considering I worked on videos, I worked on a server, i uh been running around outside, I'm cutting firewood, taking care of the chickens, cleaning up the yard, and putting in some shelving in the tiny house on wheels. 
And I've still got video editing to do. Got about four or five hours of video work and comments to do and a forum to answer, so it's a good day. Good day at the off-grid homestead.